Chicago in the new year. If you want to move to Chicago in 2024, there are a few things that you have to be aware of. It's a little bit different than warm weather markets from what I've been told, but I've been selling here for 32 years and I can tell you the spring market, even though it doesn't feel like it in Chicago starts January 2nd. Things start popping right away after the lull in the holidays, especially now post COVID. So if you're looking to move to Chicago in Lincoln Park, Lakeview, the Gold Coast, South Loop, West Loop, any of these areas, which are pretty much considered the most active, expensive, popular areas in the city, um, then you really need to be positioned <clears throat> to have a leg up on things coming on the market before they come on, things that are in the private network, and listings that are putting uh, being put on the market sell right away, the good ones. So um, it happens all the time, especially in the neighborhoods surrounding downtown and that are close to downtown and the lake, very popular. So number one, you better have someone helping you that knows more than, you know, I'm just a realtor and I can look in the MLS and things like that. You have to have someone with know-how that knows things off the market, has other agents that are putting things on the market that they may be aware of right before they come on and know how to position you in a multiple offer situation. So single family homes in Lincoln Park, Lakeview, the West Loop, big town homes that they have here, a lot of these fly off the market. I mean, very quickly in the spring market. So don't wait until February or March, start looking at the opportunities right away. Do a later close date, do a rent back where the sellers rent back and you close, uh, you move in later keep your rate locked that way. I mean, these are the things you want to be aware of to be ultra competitive and make sure you get, you know, the property that you want. It's an election year, so there could be maybe a little bit of a drop off later in the year, but earlier in the year where the majority of properties um, trade, sell, there's going to be competition. So March, April are the two biggest kind of peak inventory months, but there's a lot of opportunity before that um, you know, if you can get something, you know, before like kind of the traditional um, peak period where everyone's looking and bidding against each other. So the other thing is in an area like Lincoln Park, there's a lot of new construction. So if you're aware of builders, so if your agent's aware of builders that have properties that they have purchased just the land and they're going to be building on and you have a time frame for a short term rental or uh, you're not moving for a little while, then these are great opportunities to know about. So call, text, email, anytime if you want more information about these types of things or understand the market in any of these areas better. Be happy to help. Um, born and raised in Chicago and know a lot of what's going on, you know, in the in the market over the last 32 years. So other thing to be aware of is Lakeview. There's also a lot of new construction going on in Lakeview. So some of these builders will build in Lakeview and Lincoln Park. Some tend to focus on one or the other, uh, but you need to be aware of these things. Condo conversions, uh, new condo buildings. Um, some of these are not selling tremendously well because they're pushing the envelope on pricing and the market did get pulled back on some of these buildings during COVID. So they're kind of making a bit of a comeback now. Uh, but you kind of have to understand, you know, where they're at in the sales cycle so you don't overpay. Uh, if you're looking at an area like the South Loop, that area has been kind of hammered. The prices have gone way down um, and they are stabilizing a bit. But you can get some pretty good deals for your money in the South Loop. Now, if you're looking at Bucktown, Wicker Park, close to downtown, but just a little bit off close to the expressway. Um, those areas have been hit uh, fairly hard, some of the condos. However, the single families are, you know, doing uh, okay in Bucktown and Wicker Park, um, but not quite as well as some of the other areas. Um, so again, if you're moving in Chicago, best thing I can say is be quick, be ready, have some great resources, you know, someone you're working with can really help you understand what's going on before it happens and have good insight so that you 
very typically what will happen is, and you don't want this to happen is, you will be in a position to get something you want rather than make the mistake of say, oh, well, something better will come along or that's a little overpriced or, you know, whatever, and then regret it later. That's the worst, you know, if you, uh, if you run into that opportunity. <clears throat> the other thing to be aware of, if you want a high rise downtown Chicago, then these have been, you know, really um, hit hard during COVID. They have come back a little bit, but still the market for the more expensive units, say a million, million point five and up, really got hit hard, especially three million and up around Millennium Park and so forth. But if you're buying something more in the five, six hundred thousand dollar range, it's a little less uh, risky, less um, difficult to, to figure out where a safe spot is. So again, just call, text, email if you have any questions. But Chicago in 2024 is going to be a strong market. Rates are going down a bit now. And that's been helpful, especially in the lower price points. Uh, the, the higher price points are more insulated from the higher rates because people tend to pay cash um, or put, you know, big down, huge down payments down. So, um, Another thing to be aware of is some of the older things that uh, vintage units in Lincoln Park especially or older townhomes that are really dated that were built in the 60s, 70s, or 80s, sometimes people shy away from these things and many of them are in the best locations that you can possibly find. So um, if you can have some good resources for um, a renovation, understand the numbers and the cost, um, then you'll be able to figure out if it's going to be worth your while. If it's going to, sometimes you can get a good appreciation from these once you do the work. And many people shy away from them because they just, you know, they don't want to do the work. They don't have the time frame. They, they don't just have the wherewithal to, to handle that. So look at those opportunities because um, you will get a great location if you're kind of on the bubble of, you know, pricing where you want to be. Um, so that's the deal in Chicago for 2024, uh, basic thoughts. And uh, if you really want to uh, save some money and get more space, there are many areas outside of the, the more expensive ones that are you know, really showing a lot of great appreciation. And you know, like Ravenswood, Lincoln Square, Logan Square. Um, and these areas tend to change and expand you know as time goes on while they solidify so just call text email if you need any help with the 2024 uh, chicago market at all happy new year